It's been an honor to participate in the 2016 Republican presidential primary. I'm proud of our principled campaign and the thousands of young people that have been energized by our message of limited constitutional government. Ours has been a unique voice in this race, one that says big government threatens Americans from all walks of life, rich and poor, black and white, from the coal miner who lost his job over President Obama's destructive EPA regulations to the teenager from a poor family facing jail time for marijuana. I will continue to fight for criminal justice reform, for privacy, and your Fourth Amendment rights. I will continue to champion due process over indefinite detention. I will continue to be a voice against the out-of-control regulation, spending, and debt that is crippling our country's economy and the future of our children. I will not ignore the terrible cost of decades of war and chaos in the Middle East and the unintended consequences of regime change and nation building. I will never forget the thousands of American soldiers who have given their lives and the thousands more who live every day with catastrophic injuries. These are the issues that have defined my campaign. Kelly and I are deeply grateful to our outstanding staff and tireless volunteers and supporters, people who believe in liberty. It has been a privilege to give voice to the liberty movement in this race, and I believe we have broadened the debate by being part of it. Although today I will suspend my campaign for the presidency, I will continue to fight on for liberty, for the Constitution, for justice in the United States Senate. Thank you, and God bless America.